Hello everyone, this is Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Uh, so today we're going to go through an overview of an app that on the new iOS version of 9.0.2 you actually have to make the app, uh, future apps that are not trusted by Apple uh, you need to put in the profiles to trust the app so that you can use the app. Even though the app is on your phone, your device uh, normally on the older version of iOS 8 if the app is not trusted it, you will get a pop-up message saying would you want to trust meaning allowing the app to run on your phone uh, which may have a bug issue or some kind of other issue to it uh, but you're entrusting to allow your app to, you're allowing the app to run on your mobile device well on iOS 9 now it completely blocks that now you have to actually go through a different process in allowing the app to work so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and uh, the app that we're talking about is, is an Uber app. Uh, I'm an Uber driver part-time while also maintaining an education uh, job and supporting iOS devices as well as Macs and so forth in the school environment uh, as well as creating YouTube videos. So we're going to go ahead and open Reflector down here on the, on the center. Uh, Reflector, you can actually... Uh, display your mobile device on your on your Mac uh, as well as you can do from Mac to Mac which is actually kind of cool so I've used this before uh, trying to use a new version uh, which is reflector 2 uh, it supports iOS 9 uh, the old version reflector does not so let's go ahead and connect and you'll see in a moment my screen will pop up there it is um, when I hit done I'm going to close this screen. Now it just shows Reflector 2 in the bottom. It's basically trial mode. And yes, again, I am trying this out. So the thing is, um, this is the app down here at the, at the at the very bottom next to my Facebook. It's called Uber. Uh, you will go ahead and select it, and then it prompts you this message that it's entrusted, untrusted developer enterprise, uh, and then has not been trusted by the iPhone and so forth. And the reason why it's not been trusted is because this is an internal app to Uber. So you can't go to the App Store and download this. You have to actually go to a special link. Um, I can actually show you, but it's going to show all my other information. So we're going to go ahead and skip this. So for me to make this to become a trusted app and make me use it or so I can use it to drive, uh, you would need to go make sure you go into your settings. And then from your settings, you want to go scroll to your general. And then from your general, you want to scroll down. And I don't know if we can move this. No, we can't. Um, so I was trying to move the reflector logo that's appearing there. You want to select third row from the bottom. It says profiles or profile. And then there you have the Uber technologies. Once you select this, now you have the option to trust the Uber uh, technology. And once you select trust it would also say the iPhone distribution uber technologies apps on this phone trusting will allow any app from this enterprise developer to be used on your phone and may allow access to your data which is fine and that's understand because they're always collecting data so you want to go ahead and trust now that it's actually trusted even though on the bottom uber um, partner was already verified uh, you want to go ahead and go back 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 or you can actually just press the home button and uh, now that down here in the uber partner it still shows the same so now if you touch uber partner it should open into the app so there is the app and I can go ahead and log in um, do, 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 excuse me I have no problem showing my email because it's just an email and no one else can log into it unless they know my password. So, and if I know my password, I'll log in. Now you have the option to Google Maps, Ways, stay in the Uber app. And then you can either go online or check your earnings and so forth. Um, and then it's working. So this is basically where I wanted to get to. Uh, when I installed the app, it's like, no, it's not trusted app. And I was like, oh, no, I can't drive. So now this is basically resolves that issue. Uh, and then you can just go online at your leisure, 
So let me just go online, and then you'll see the driver app login, and there's the driver app. There's no searches or anything going on, but uh, that's pretty much what the app is. So now that the Uber app is working, you will need to do this process as well if you are a Lyft driver, uh, and that's the same process. Uh, but I'll show you that in a different video in a moment. Okay, so if there's anything, any questions or so forth, feel free to put it in the comments of the YouTube channel down below. Feel free to subscribe as I'll have future iOS um, overviews, apps, and so forth, uh, as well as I'm going to be doing Casper as well uh, for those individuals that are on Casper in their education school system or in their corporate enterprise um, for um, managing your mobile MDM management for Apple devices. Okay, well that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and sign out of my, uh, as we hear, mirroring, and we want to turn that off. So now the device is off. Thank you again, and thanks for visiting us on the YouTube channel at Apple at iOS Genius. Good day.